Hello and welcome to my video, another one unboxing video. Uh, this is Victor and today I actually am very excited to show you this uh, uh, thing that I have on this desk. Uh, you might not recognize it so I'm gonna quickly go over what it is. So this is of course a box of things and then uh, I'm gonna show you quickly what it says on the corner. It says um, Tom Clancy's The Division Collector's Edition. So what is this? Um, don't worry about the Xbox One. Actually I don't have an Xbox One. Uh, but what this is, it, this one is is a um, from a video game that I'm very uh, interested in. Uh, if you are following my channel, you probably know that I make two main things in my channel. The first one is my game playthrough of the Division game, Division Two, in fact, which is something that I really enjoy playing. Uh, but of course, before the before Division Two, um, uh, Ubisoft actually made uh, the Division One, uh, which is based on the same story written by Tom Clancy. Um, I. I enjoy that game tremendously actually and then when Division 2 uh, was announced I brought it right away and I kept playing it until to, um, you know today um, and so uh, of course like uh, being a game manufacturer uh, what they did Ubisoft did was they made a collector's edition where it comes with not just the game but a bunch of other stuff uh, along with uh, this particular game if you uh, follow the um, uh, the storyline of this game, uh, or you've watched the trailer, you know that uh, one very particular item in this game is actually a watch. So that actually comes back to why I'm so excited to make this video for you, for this uh, this unboxing video with you, for you is that uh, it actually combines two things that I like the most in this channel. So as I said, the one the first thing that I you know keep making producing videos for is the gameplay uh, videos of the Vision Two, the game. Um, the other kind of videos that I do a lot is unboxing. Uh, I don't actually limit myself to unboxing watches, but it turns out that I like watches a lot, so I keep unboxing watches. So um, today, this video in this box actually is the best of both worlds because uh, in this game, in the Division game, one of the very important item uh, it's actually the watch for agents. So the story is something like that. You know, there are some so-called so sleeper agent when it, the uh, when the country you know calls for their um, surface, uh, their their watch will light up. And um, they sh are supposed to drop everything they have. Maybe they are playing a basketball game. Maybe they are, you know, taking care of um, their loved ones or you know, whatnot. They are supposed to drop everything and answer the call, right? So um, this watch has been a very essential item throughout the first um, episode of the Division and also the Division Two uh, game and the world. So in fact, if you take a look at the um, the cover of this one, you will see that you know, along with some generic stuff like you know, some machine guns and weapon and backpack and whatnot. It's actually the highlight here, which is the uh, the the watch of the agent, right? So of course, in the game, it this watch does almost everything. You know, it tells them things, connects to the wider network, and um. It uh, shows some holographic information or whatnot. Of course, this watch uh, is, you know, is maybe in the future we'll have something like that. But you know, in the, in the, in the modern time, in in our actual nowadays time, we don't actually have that technology widely available. So um, instead. Um, this particular um, collector's edition, they actually made an Asian replica watch uh, that tries to mimic some of the, um, you know, the, the quality or characteristics of this watch, which I'm going to show you. But um, I've, you, you might have seen a lot of, uh, you know, unboxing videos about this uh, watch because it's actually the most sought after item from this thing. But I do want to show you some other stuff that I really like. And I'm so grateful that I actually uh, was able to find someone who uh, is willing to sell this set from uh, to me um, even though I don't have an Xbox one I don't really mind uh, I really like this collector set besides the watch I just like the whole set and uh, this thing actually was um, uh, available uh, in the first game which is in 2015 to 2016 so it's been like five years uh, at that time this whole set was sold for about I don't know, 160 US dollars. Um, so it's not a super expensive, but also not a super cheap uh, uh, set. Um, maybe that's why I didn't buy it. Anyway, so I'm so glad that I have this today and I'm so happy that I can unbox this for you. So first of all, let's uh, take a look at the content. So here, I'm gonna take this away. So it's like a plastic cover. Uh, by the way, the back, I need to show you the back. So the back has all the content that's supposed to be in this box, including artwork 
a poster of course a watch as you can see is being highlighted here and also a little bit of uh, an armband and a pass um, the person who sold this to me uh, removed the, uh, this pass um, probably the game as well it doesn't matter I don't have Xbox anyways so um, that's fine but the rest are here and I'm gonna show you those let's put this away and only uh, let's take a look at the box so just put it this way and here's the box and the box you can see that they have the uh, art book they have the uh, armband here and they have the box of watch the entire watch is actually inside this box we're going to show this at the last part so i'm going to show you a little bit of uh, the artwork first i'm just going to put this aside so that uh, it doesn't cover my mouth and and let's start with the uh the the art book all right so the art box is quite nice the division the logo it really uses a nice orange, white, and a black, which is the main colors in this game. And in the uh, art book, you can see that some really original artwork, um, you know, drawings of the agent, talks about what the agents are. It doesn't really have any words, it's only just the art. It doesn't describe, you know, what's in the world. I think there's actually a book that uh, actually talks about the world of the division, which I might actually end up getting. It doesn't cost a lot. Uh, and I think I'm gonna, just for, you know, for completeness, I will get those. But you see, great artwork, concept art, talks about the fraction, which are the enemies in the first game, and, you know, other stuff. So, again, really nice artwork and very beautifully made. Right. So that is the the art work book art book. Uh, the next thing I want to show you is underneath the art book is actually the uh, there's this little pouch or pocket um, a bag. Inside is the uh, is a poster which I'm not gonna open it, but you know it's just like a big poster that I can put it on the wall or something. Um, so that's the uh, the back of the poster. Um, the next thing that we have here is this armband thing. So you're supposed to put it on arm, you know, like if you're doing any kinds of like cosplay or something, I think that will be something that you will want to have. Um, it has a zipper, uh, which actually is quite like, it's deep, like, but um, it doesn't open up a lot. So I suppose you can put some cards in it. Um, you have a bigger opening, so you can open it all the way. So it flips open. Inside there's the band. You can actually wrap around through this little... Uh, tap here and then uh, you will be able to put it around your your arm or something right so that's the um, the armband has you know a nice logo it's not printed it's actually um, um, you can see a race here it's kind of like a little I think it's like stick on plastic kind of thing so it's not an engraving it's not printed it's actually something that is raised or relief I think it's called um, so it's very, very nicely made um, of course, still plastic, but you know, it's, it's nice. All right, so last but not the least, of course, that is the main thing about this video. Uh, I am actually doing another unboxing of a watch, <laughs> turns out, but it's a very special watch. It's, um, you know, not a high-end watch. It's not uh, something that a watch collector will collect, but this is something that means a lot to me because one, I really enjoy playing the Division game. So having kind of like an item or memorabilia from the game is quite nice. And of course, um, you're being a watch, which is also one, one of my interests. So it's quite nice. So that's why. Um, the box, I mean, if you if someone is like a collector for these things, they probably won't like it. There's a little bit of dance here and there. But it doesn't really matter. I don't really want to sell it at all. I want to keep it. It's, it doesn't have to be mint condition. I just like it a lot. So enough said. So let's take a look at this box. So when you open it, there is the watch itself. It's quite nice. Um, it also have a little spongy thing to cover the rest and that uh, they really did some good job in presenting this particular watch like the rest are not bad but like look at this they have this thing they have a really nice box uh, i think there's i don't think there's magnet in here but anyway so um that's the little pillow that has to wa watch around walking around it put aside um it also comes with a spare battery in fact because this thing has been it was sold in 2016 or whatnot the battery actually um kind of like uh, went out, the power went out. So I actually swap it out beforehand and I got to see what's inside the watch a little bit. So it's quite nice. If I get a chance, I might even post a photo of what's inside. It's quite a delicate and but interesting way of uh, uh, making the whole uh, watch works. Um, the, it also comes with a little bag with a little bit of extra parts. So in case your uh, 
uh, wrist is uh, bigger, then uh, you might want some extra bits for uh, to lengthen the bracelet. Uh, it's using a metal bracelet, so it doesn't actually come with those like typical with a bunch of punch holes. You can adjust the length. Um, there's a little bit of adjustment you can do, but like you might you might want to have that. So it quite it's quite nice that it comes with that. Uh, it also comes with a little screwdriver here. Um, for you to replace the battery, so you can see that. So uh, at the back, you can replace the battery by just using the same screwdriver. Um, of course, you it comes also with the uh, user manual. It comes with uh, several languages as well. Uh, but the funny thing about this uh, instruction book is uh, um, there is one functionality in this watch that has a world time. So uh, to show which uh, time which time zone it is, it uses three letter abbreviation. Unfortunately, uh, in this instruction manual, it doesn't actually tells you what those three letter abbreviations are so it took me a while to figure out what is the time zone that it's talking about some of them are quite easily recognized like tokyo um like sydney uh los angeles you know those are easy to recognize but there are some that i just have this is the first time i see it it would be nice if they actually show a list of like those time zones and you know the the, the place the names of that place what those abbreviations mean would be very nice. Anyway, it's a very simple uh, user manual. It has how many languages are there? There are like five languages, English, French, Italian, um, German, and uh, Spanish. So uh, it's detailed, uh, one piece of paper. Uh, it only lasts for like this side for one language, so it doesn't have a lot of stuff to say. Uh, anyway, it tells you at least what buttons are, and one of the things that it tells you is do not submerge it in water. Uh, in fact, I don't think this this watch is like any kind of waterproof. Um, but anyway, so uh, uh, that's not a really big deal. I'm not going to swim with it anyways. But it's nice to know that not not, not nice to know that. But it's important to know that I cannot. Uh, place this thing near, anywhere near the water. Anyway, so that's the um, parts. I'm gonna um, show you how it is. So this is the watch. It uses a metallic band. It's all black in color, very stealthy. Uh, the same as the, the game itself. Um, so uh, let's take a look at that. So if you take a look at that, there are a few buttons here. There are, it looks like there are Six, uh, six buttons in total. There are three on this side. There are three in this side. On this side, but in fact, only four of them uh, are functional. So these big ones that are like slightly higher actually are just for show, for show. Uh, there's a bigger button here. Um, there's also another bigger button here. There are a round, there's a round button here. And also a round button there. Uh, they are the only four buttons that are functional. Right, and um, let's take a look at the back. So the back is quite quite nice. It has the uh, division logo uh, engraved, and it has its own motto. I think uh, I I think it's it in um, uh, what's the language? Um, uh, I forgot what that language is. Like uh, I think it's uh, you know some older language. Uh, anyway, so uh, but it seems it said something like if I remember correctly, mean like extreme times requires extreme uh, measures or something like that. So uh, it's a model that is uh, available uh, is feasible throughout the entire division game. So here you will see that a little bit of like orange stuff here. As I said, that's one of the main colors in the division uh, game or division design. And uh, so when you get this watch, uh, it doesn't show you anything. Uh, actually, it doesn't display anything at all. You only you have to press a button and then it will show you something. So the main thing that um, you know, everyone talks about about the division game watch is that it has this orange ring, which is like kind of like uh, the reminder or the activation thing. So this watch captures that. So uh, when you press this button, it lights up, right? You see that um, it lights up a ring. Actually, there's a special button that actually only lights up the ring. So it's just this button. You see the ring? Uh, it grows for 10 seconds, or so it's like the mimic the you know the slow glow or like a notification stuff like that. So it really does the job. And uh, the way it works is that at the top and the bottom of the module inside this watch, actually it has two small orange LEDs. So uh, when you press, it just triggers that. There are like there's another mode that you can do. I think like two two presses is like stay on, doesn't doesn't glow or a fade. Um, a pulse and it will just uh, shut down like in say 10 seconds um, like this. Of course, since it is a watch, it also tells you the time. So if you press another button, uh, it tells you the time. So let's say this is telling us that it is now Wednesday, um, just past midnight. Okay. 
like that. See if, the, if we can focus. There we go. And as you can see, it actually only shows up for five seconds, more or less. Uh, that's actually the issue about this watch is actually it will only show up for a very short time. It's very stealthy, I guess. Uh, I don't know whether it's trying to save the battery or whatnot, but it doesn't actually tell you the time consistently. Every time you want to check the time, you actually have to press the button. Uh, it doesn't have those like, uh, you know, you flick the watch like the smart watch these days. You flick your wrist and then uh, it shows the time. It doesn't actually have even have that. So every time you want to take a, take a t uh, tell the time, you need to press this button and then it tells you the time. Oops. Um, so I think I just accidentally press the reset button or something. Anyway, so uh, it does have, um, let me just quickly go through the functions with you. It does have the time, the typical time. Uh, it has a stopwatch function. Uh, it also has the uh, alarm function. Let me see if I can bring it a little bit closer. Uh, oh, let's go back. Um, it has the alarm function, as I said. It also has the uh, um, the timer function. So you, you can do a, t a countdown. Uh, I also have world time. As I said earlier, it, it claims that the instruction claims that it can show you 40 different places, times, uh, but without the without any of the um, lookup table, I actually don't know which 40 day places it is. Maybe a few of them. So anyway, so that's pretty basic. It tells you uh, on the main screen, it tells you the, uh, the main mode, or it tells you the date, uh, which day it is of the week, and also the time here. Um, it, um, so what are the other buttons? So I've shown you one of the buttons is just to show that little uh, glowing ring thing anytime you want to sh you know, show it off. Um, anyway, so um, the other thing is um, uh, if you press this button, it quickly show you uh, a special functionality like a timer and then the other button will show you the, um, the alarm, right? So it's pretty cool. Um, if you notice that it actually shows the time, the instruction uh, manual says it is uh, what it calls a uh, it goes to mode. <laughs> Essentially, it doesn't have a backlight. Um, that orange thing is the backlight. Um, and now, so that's the um, that's the gist of it. Now, um, let me just wear that with, for you and show you how it feels like on the arm. So this is like. Uh, Kind of like a watch. So the whole thing, the material itself is actually metal. So when I opened it up, I th I think that uh, I believe that what I saw was kind of like a um, cast iron or something. And then what they did was they just coated it with a kind of like a rubbery pla uh, plastic black material. Uh, when you scratch it, you will see a little bit of like uh, peeling, but it doesn't actually go through. I think it's some sort of protective layer uh, for the rubbery uh, feeling of that. Um, so it feels very comfortable. Uh, it's a bigger watch. Um, in terms of weight, um, I've seen some videos doing the weight. I think it's actually quite heavy because the whole thing is actually made with uh, metal. So um, including the band and also the watch itself. So I'm just gonna put it on a weight scale. Uh, it weighs 172 gram. 172 gram. So it's a rather heavier watch. Um, um, let me just give you an ex uh, a reference. So this is a rather big watch, right? So uh, and then it's pretty chunky and uh, some people actually c uh, compare this with like a Casio G-Shock. I happen to have a Casio G-Shock with me that kind of looks like that. Um, I, it happens uh, I have an orange. Orange is uh, one of my favorite colors and uh, it is, uh, what is this? I think it's um I forgot this model, but it's like one of the bigger G-Shocks that has a, a, a analog, but a little bit of like a digital showing here. It's a relatively big G-Shock. Like other G-Shocks might not be as big, but you know, this is like a sizable one, right? So uh, if you compare the size of that, they are more or less the same. In fact, I think the G-Shock actually is slightly bigger than this watch. So if you are more, fam more um, uh, familiar with or used to bigger G-Shocks, uh, it's not a big watch, in fact, right? But I mean, if you are um, you know, more used to smaller watches like 41 millimeters or 39 millimeters, then this is definitely something that is uh, bigger. Now, uh, of course, in terms of weight, RCO G-Shock is like a plastic resin watch. So if you put it on a weight, um, let's see if I can actually put the whole thing. I think there's a little bit of like, let me just, yeah, the band is not cooperating. So let me just put it this way. It's about 70 grams. So it's like a hundred grams more heavy, uh, uh, heavier here with this uh, all metal uh, watch. So um, 
If you ask me if I'm going to wear this like uh, for daily uses, the answer is no. Uh, one, it's pretty heavy. Two, um, it is um, not waterproof. And uh, three, it doesn't really tell me time all the time. I have to press a button to tell me what the time is uh, from time to time. Uh, so, and you know, four, of course, it's like a kind of like a collectible item. I like it um, more because of uh, I really like the game, the game division. And uh, this is like one of the most iconic item in the game. Um, so. Uh, I'm so uh, happy that I actually have that. I probably, I might wear it for a little while when I play the game. It's kind of get a feeling of like, yeah, I'm playing this agent thing. But uh, on a daily basis, I probably, most likely won't wear this watch. Uh, I have other watches that's more durable, tells me more stuff and shows me the information all the time. Um, so that's that. But you know, all in all, it's a really cool watch. Um, put this aside. And uh, yeah, so that's the Division watch. And uh, yeah, so uh, thank you for watching. I uh, hope you enjoy watching this video. Right now, you might, st if you are really into this watch, I think you can find it on eBay or something, but I think they are too pricey for, you know, watch like this. Um, um, it's uh, cost wise, I don't think it will cost more than like 30 or 50 bucks, but you know, there's sentimentals in it, they are like collectible. Uh, I, um, fellows at it so that's why like and it's rare because uh it's i don't think they are going to make this watch anymore uh it's just like a collectible edition from the first division game uh, not like they, they made a, a collectible uh edition collector edition for the second game but it doesn't come with a watch which is kind of interesting to uh decision because it's such a sought art after item and people are raving about this watch and uh, well, anyway, uh, maybe there's a Division 3, maybe they decided that um, this watch should be included in one of the um, editions. If that's the case, I probably will buy it. But I would suggest like using some other materials like plastics. I know that some people will, yeah, you, you want, want to have that, uh, you know, heft. You want to like feel that this is a, you know, a, a real watch with this chunkiness, then you want a metal. But like uh, given that the material is like kind of, I, I fear that I might scratch it and then it will just uh, not have the black paint anymore. I think it might be more, make, makes more sense to just use plastic or rubber. Uh, I think it will lower the cost, uh, make the weight less and potentially actually might make it waterproof. I don't know. Um, but still maintain the look and feel and of course the iconic features of the orange light or whatnot uh, with this watch and I think they uh, that will actually make it more popular and uh, more beloved all right so anyway so um, thank you so much for watching this video I'm so happy I can you know have this ha uh, watch in my hand it's again it's a mix of like two of the things that I like the most and actually the two main things I have in this channel at least for now uh, the the Division 2 gameplay, which is the game that I like the most, and also, you know, uh, un unboxing, you know, opening for uh, watches that I also enjoy a lot. So um, this is a very interesting video that uh, I make, and hope you enjoy that. Thanks again, and I hope to see you soon, uh, shortly.